85. 85. 85. 85. It's not the best, but it'll do. Safe sex. Safe sex. Somebody have safe sex. I said safe sex. Safe sex. Is anybody having safe sex? You need a latex condom. Unless she's allergic to latex and get a lamp skin, because that might work. And put it on so it won't hurt. And then take your time with some foreplay. Rub on the nipples. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> okay, are y'all ready to take this serious? And we're back. Welcome to another rendition of the 85 South Show. It is your man, Carlos Miller. I am in one of the corners of the Trap House Studios. My man, J-O-N, is on the beat machine taking us back, way back to like 86. Yeah, play that shit, bro. Let them hear it. Yeah, that's the beat right there for this episode. You got to rap like that if you want to. Let me tell you some things that you don't do, like look both ways <laughs> before you cross the street. <laughs> Let me stop, man. We just on here wilding this shit. How y'all doing tonight, man? Before we get started, the first thing I would like to say is free 21 Savage. Free 21 Savage. That is the most random shit of 2019 already. The 21 Savage is, is British? I, I don't know what to believe no more. I, I don't know. I tweeted that shit. That shit got about 15 million impressions, man. I, I don't know what the hell. Free 21, even if he is from over there. That nigga from right here in Atlanta. I, that is the most Atlanta nigga I've ever seen. Oh, before we get, continue, let me introduce you to my lovely co-host of the evening, Miss Dominique Danielle. How are you, ma'am? Hello. Hello. Hello, where you, everyone. Where you representing for tonight? Where you from? Um, uh, I am from East St. Louis, but I've been in Atlanta, Georgia half my life, so. So all the There's people who are not familiar with East St. Louis, this is a small little fucked up town. <laughs> it's not in St. Louis, but it's not necessarily not in St. Louis. Right. But East St. Louis. It's Illinois. It's his own little place. It's a very special little place. It is. Red Fox is from there. <laughs> Hey. Shout out to my man Willie Lynch Jr. He's from there. Hey. A couple more people. I know a few comics from out that way. East St. Louis is uh, it's kind of rough. Yeah, rough yeah, it there. is. I, you know. I'm glad you made it. Uh, thank you, thank you. You know, I'm not pregnant or a stripper. You should have been a pregnant stripper. I, <laughs> that's exactly how it ends up. Speaking of strippers, I heard that the dudes from Quality Control went to the Super Bowl party and, and oh. threw about a whole lot of money. Boosie was. Off Pause this. We're whole, talking money right now. Boosie was off his whole head just going on. He said Q stood in one spot, literally. 30,000 right there. Yeah. Then another 100,000 in another. Like, I. Yeah, I seen Floyd Mayweather throw 100 by himself one night. Jesus. He threw 50, then he read up and got another 50. Like, I, I, you know, I thought to myself, like, just being a stripper for just that night. I know, mean, but you, you know. Eh. But when I like Lil Boosie Instagram, this is one of the most entertaining rappers. Like, I was just talking about the most entertaining rappers on social media. Lil Boosie is definitely in my top five. <laughs> he had a show in Alabama one day, uh -huh. and this nigga, he had this video where he was in a Versace robe, and this nigga was so serious, but he was like, the whole Alabama gonna be there. <laughs> they already said it. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> Tuscaloosa said they coming. Get your tickets. He said it with a, a tone of seriousness that made me want to be there. The whole Alabama company. They already said it. Like, the whole Alabama was on the phone together. They were like, Boosie, we coming. don't worry about nothing. The whole Alabama. I fuck with Boosie the long way, man. Yeah, I do too. I do too. It's my nigga. You know, who else is who else is an entertaining rapper that you follow on social media? Um, you know Ply's always got oh, something. Oh, come on, man. You know that. You know Ply's always got something. Like, whether it's Sweet Pussy Saturdays, is it Sundays or Saturdays? I love this nigga. Yeah, I'm telling this you. This nigga come on and say the most random shit. It just be laughing already. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, boy, you find you a bitch who tried that. I don't see what. 
with him. He's trying to awesome. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> they get the bonus. <laughs> like this is the giggling this nigga. Ever. Ever. He be happy as hell. That nigga been in the car for four years. Ain't going nowhere. He ain't nowhere. never came out of the car in a video. But most of the videos, it looked like he actually driving. I'm like, where is this nigga going? Does he mother? have a holder? Is is it? I just got a ticket from Let me tell my your motherfucking ass <laughs> one motherfucking thing. If I reach over there in the morning and get some of that pussy, and that pussy ain't always wet, bitch, you got to go back to sleep. You been <laughs> sleep too long. That pussy done dried up. That pussy is sleep. Maybe that pussy dead. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest shit that nigga ever said, he was like, he told the girl, he said, uh-uh, this pussy too big for me. You need to put some tape or some Neo sparring on that motherfucker. <laughs> I follow Ooh. a lot of them niggas. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, it be funny. Yeah. He do. Now, I don't know. He talk a lot about pussy, which all men do, right? Well, most of them. Somebody told me I talk about pussy a lot. Is that, is that? But I feel like as men, we don't have a lot of representation. What is that supposed to mean? It's not a lot of famous men that actually speaking about pussy. What do you? I ain't never heard Denzel Washington say nothing about no pussy. You know, because he has other things to do. Like maybe, you know, talk about What's more more. important than pussy? I feel like if you're a man and you have been put into a spotlight and you're a representative and you're a leader, Mm -hmm. you have a voice, you should speak on male issues like pussy. We need people to speak for us. In what way? We just need to, sometimes he just needs to look at one of them cameras and be like, pussy real good, and just walk off. (laughs) You know, like we need him to acknowledge. How do you know? Because he's a man. Can you tell pussy from looking at a woman? Sometimes. You sometimes you could just, sometimes women just show up with good pussy energy. <laughs> just take over the whole room. Just walk <laughs> in with good pussy energy. Hell yeah. What, what is that? What does that feel? Because I'm not understanding. You don't know. You might never walked in the room with good I, pussy I don't, energy. I, I don't know. Like, you don't I, know? I, I, <laughs> I don't Let me ask you this before. Do you think in your heart of hearts that you have good pussy? Like, would you bet actual money? Like my money. Um, I mean, okay, I'm not a very cocky individual. It's not about being cocky. You know if that pussy good or not. Well, I might. Okay, now, now, do you really think a nigga is out here looking for some all right pussy? No. Okay, then. at least you honest. At least you honest. No, I feel like I might. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let the pussy speak for itself. It's not gonna say nothing though. Mine does. Your pussy talk. It does. A talking pussy. <laughs> yeah, it does. Now. <laughs> That's why you're a guest on the show. Actually, I, I brought you on here. I didn't want to have to bring it up, and I don't want to tell you how I know, but I did hear about the girl with the speaking pussy. You did, and that's why I'm here today. Her. Can you play some talking pussy music? Sir? <laughs> I feel, you got like, talking pussy I feel music? like that needs instrumentals it, behind it. Y- please. But you, you really, know. you just think it's just all right, though. I mean, I mean, I feel like it, okay, it's enough to keep somebody who like won't leave me alone and shit. Like well, they was gonna fuck with you anyway. I don't think. You don't think pussy is the type to keep? I don't you? think that's a good gauge. I I don't really know. Besides, <laughs> niggas not leaving me alone. Like. And, and, and then I'm crazy too. And they still won't leave me alone. Like I'll cut you up and stuff. And then they be like, but can't can we uh <laughs> so, so they still be trying to work it out? They be still trying to work shit out. I like it, it, I'll be like, say I'm crazy. Like, I'm off. <laughs> Nigga might go out his way for a talking but I don't know, but when you say all that stabbing and shit, I wasn't feeling that. I don't that really part. stab you for real. I just probably beat you up, you know. I'm just you. real disappointed that you said you your pussy is just all right. I mean, I'm saying it's all right because I'm not a very, I let it speak it be for itself. How could it be better? <laughs> <laughs> How could your pussy be better? Fuck you, Carlos. Okay, first of all. No, you, you, because you didn't have the confidence in it. <laughs> like, you didn't speak, speak up for your pussy. Like, I this was as good as a motherfucker. But most you of the people like, who do all that talking, like, mm. nah, see, most of the women who do all that talking probably got vaginosis and it probably got a yeast infection in this thing. Wow. So I don't feel I'm glad like. you said it, because <laughs> if I would have said it. That would have been come off as wrong uh-uh, way as bashing. Nah, nah, because I feel like it's a lot of it's a lot of sub part out here. They be bragging like hard, and soon as they do this, you be like, oh. They don't even have to do that. They just stand up. And you be like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. No, that's bad. That's bad. The stand up with is bad. Wow. That's when you really know it's bad. Yeah, but like I was saying earlier, some women can just walk in the room and just spread good pussy energy all that's around. Like, I, I mean, you know. <laughs> I probably got that. <laughs> you know who I think got some good pussy? Who? 
What's that lady's name from How to Get Away with Murder? I can't um, do not tell me. You t- fences. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Wait, I'm getting ready to tell you her name. Uh, I'm looking dead at her damn face. Um, I can't. I always call her Alfred Woodard because she was. They her. similar. They look alike. Uh, What's her name, bro? Um. Hold on, let me get, I'm, I'm finna get her name right now. You gotta pull her name. Chad, what's her name, bro? I'm get, I'm get ready to pull her name. Bro. The lady from How to Get Away with Murder. I think she got some good questions. Why would you say, okay, okay. Viola Davis. Yes. Yes. Viola Davis. Yes. Wait, what gives you that impression? And you know she's she's married to a white man, so don't. First, first don't, thing, don't first do thing it. that jumps out to me is the name Viola, okay? <laughs> Her name's Viola. What does that mean? What is Anytime Viola? you meet a woman with an old lady name that's not an old lady. She got that good? What? <laughs> what? Everybody knows that, just off the top. Shut the fuck, okay, what's the next thing? Cause that, that Viola alone is not good. She the perfect shade of brown. Okay. Right. Okay. That right. is she is like beautiful. Like she real brown skin, right? But you know the bottom of her feet light skin as hell. <laughs> Yes, that's Stop good it. Right Why though. are you so ignorant though? Why you think, so that that's what qualifies somebody as a good pussy. And I just feel like she wear burgundy lipstick. <laughs> Everybody, any man know older ladies like grown women that wear burgundy lipstick? Mm-hmm. It's about that life. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. You know she's married to a white man? I don't know why you keep saying that to break my heart. <laughs> Had I known that. I mean, I, it doesn't change my love for her. Right. It doesn't, but it does. <laughs> it, like, that shit is, that, what? She just found love in a different race. Don't do that. That is do not that. love. That, is, that can't, ain't no way she yes. like this nigga. I just, when I see a black oh, woman she's only been with a white man, for... I'd be like, ain't right. no way she like this shit. There's no way she's enjoying it. What? She probably enjoyed the good parts of it, like the stability and the money and shit, but I don't really just don't think that she's out enjoying herself with this white man. So I refuse to believe it. Oh my God. What's the, t- what's the T and Tamara? The uh-huh. one that's married to the white to man. The, yep. What's her name? Adam. She's, that, she's no, married T- to Adam. It's it's Tamara. Tamara. It's Tamara. It's Tamara. She's married that's to That's why I only like the other one. <laughs> Ain't no way she liked this nigga, bruh. She, it's that. No okay. way. Not possible. It's possible. You mean to tell me this white man walked in the room, no facial hair, booty face, <laughs> with a fucking pimple and shit, looking like fucking Sergeant mm. Terry. And she was like, oh my God. He's the one. He is the one I like. It's probably the way he treated her. Get See, the that's fuck the out of I'm here. I'm telling you. Shut this up. Is, I'm telling you. This Girl, is the thing. Tripping. This is the thing. I love black men. No, you don't. I do. Ain't no way. But I'm going to tell you something. Not no way. I'm going to tell you something. It's not possible. Pride. Pride it's, in it's black men sometimes can can really destroy something they have great. shut up. You know it. Don't you lie. I ain't going to lie. You, I know, because that's why you're denying it. You know, it's so true. A lot of times pride in a black man can destroy something he has good. What just is, because I'll, he's trying to example. save face. Give me an example. It's like, okay. So a lot of... I'm not gonna say all white men, cause some white men are dogs. It's not, it's not according to race really, it's character. But a lot of times within our culture, black men have this, this, this aura that they have to keep or this, this, this it's thing that they, yes, that you have to keep in order to seem strong and to seem in control. But what if it's like not, you, what if it's not what it seems? What if that's real? What if, what if to be a black man, you need all of those character flaws to be able to go outside and survive what it survive the world do you have to survive having seven to eight different motherfucking girls at the time at the same time because seven or eight of them motherfuckers you gotta have seven or eight because you get one thing you like from this bitch one thing you like from her one thing you like from her you never meet the complete motherfucker yes okay statistics has already said a person's gonna only have 80 percent of what you want but what y'all if you ass, meet, What if you meet somebody man, who don't have none of what you want, just a fat ass? You just got motherfucking bad, you got bad, she bad She don't have taste. nothing that I want. No, she got a fat ass. That's why you gotta pick the right ones. Ain't no right ones. It that's is. what I'm telling you. It's the right ones, because it's the right one right here, baby. No, look, they not. You look. out here parading around with white men and shit. First of all. That's what I'm saying. My I'm soulmate not, is out here eating motherfucking avocado salad and shit. 
That's what you're trying to tell me? It's a white dude somewhere telling. Probably. Because <laughs> your ass. It ain't me. Fuck that. Because your See ass. Yeah, everything is our fault. Your pride. Everything is our fault. Yeah, well. I need some pride. I, I'm going to make sure you take a, you got to take accountability for the stuff I ain't got to take accountability. Yes, you do. Motherfucking yes, man. <laughs> That's your problem. Y'all always trying to fix a nigga. Leave that nigga how he is when you found him. How about you want to better yourself for I, you? Better. How about that? Better. <laughs> I'm great already. No, you're not what great. Fuck, I'm gonna keep getting better. Fuck. I'm already great. Gonna change. Bitch, you got to be fucked up. I'm not. You not talking to the like, average nigga. Yeah, okay. Well, you gotta I'm know great. something. Great men. I'm great. Don't mind keeping just one woman. What the fuck? Mm. What I look like? Okay. Good. So, That's too close so to having you... none. <laughs> I make this bitch mad and I ain't no pussy in the house. That's so stupid. Look. I ain't text back fast enough. Now I got the dry dick all week. <laughs> stupid. Because she but, mad? But see, that's the reason right there. Shut that's the reason. Up. That you definitely. That gotta, ain't no reason. That's pride. This the real reason. You want to say it? Uh -huh. You just like white men. Shut your ass up. Shut the it fuck ain't nothing that I that did. That is not true. That is ain't not. shit that I did. I don't have a preference <laughs> for white men. I have a preference for a good man. Ain't no such thing as a good man. You yeah. better find somebody who's good enough. That's so, that sounds so sad. That like, so real. I'm so single and. You gonna keep being single. Yeah. You was gonna change a nigga and think he gonna be better. I don't wanna change him. I want nope. him to be great before I get to him. Good so luck. then I ain't gotta change him. Good luck. I want him to already have the right perception. Then you showing up with I pussy and all these demands. <laughs> you don't even have the right, you don't even have the right shit to be asking Fuck this you. man for all this shit. Fuck you. Just some all right pussy. A nigga gonna change for that? No. Shut up. Yes, he is. No, he not. Because I'm going to brag on how good it is. He yeah, going to okay. know how good it is once he get in there. Uh-uh. What if he don't? Then he ain't do, he ain't like, do what right. What if it's just all right to him, too? And then you like, so. Uh, and he this never had like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you see where you fucked up at? That's your character, flaw. You can be a great woman, but your pussy, all right. Now niggas going to keep all your great woman qualities, but he got to go find a bitch with good pussy because you don't have none. <laughs> Wow. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do that. I asked the question. I you asked sure. them. You told me it was all right. I say Led it's all right because I'm looking. That's why you think niggas ain't shit because you out here giving them all right pussy <laughs> and expecting them to be great men. First of all, I'm not giving them no pussy. First of all, that's the second flaw. <laughs> Pussy just all right. Then you're not giving nobody none. Then when you do, Fuck it's you. all right. Wow. You would think holding off would make it better. <laughs> this is men. Damn. Welcome back to the 85 South Show where we don't condone all right pussy. It is, we only like great pussy. This is my own right. girl. Oh, shit. Because guess she what? She ain't shit either. <laughs> guess what? All them bitches, they be like, yeah, my shit's the best. What the bitches be lying. You can keep it, man. Them bitches be lying. You ain't getting input from white man. It probably smell like garlic. <laughs> Jen, shake your head all you, you want. I don't give a fuck. No. That's why I created this form. So you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. <laughs> which has been getting people in trouble a lot these days. Yeah. They've been saying a lot of the wrong shit. This is why. Yeah. This is why I fuck with you, though. Why? Because you real. That shit ain't good. It be even, funny as hell. That shit is holding my career back. Cause you real. You can't be real in the fake. Not industry. too real. You gotta. You gotta. The know industry when fake, bro. It's, How you gonna be real and you asking for a motherfucker to let you pretend with him? It's po it's politics. You gotta know how to say it, when to say it, and what to say. No, you, it's it's not even about that. What? Sometimes you just can't say it. You don't have. They don't like the person who's gonna say the shit. That's too, that too. Room. That too. That too. You Sometimes gotta. Sometimes you just have to ignore the obvious. And that's a hard lesson to learn. Me too, for me too. Yeah, just ignore the obvious. If somebody don't fuck with me and, and I'm in that vicinity, I, I just feel uncomfortable. I don't want to be this there the without- That's the thing though. This the business. That's what one, this is the thing a lot of people have to learn about business. When somebody don't fuck with you personally, you still can't let that affect the business. Like we can, we can, like we can personally disagree, but we still here to handle this business. Mm -hmm. Now you go over there and do your thing, and I'm gonna go over here and do mine. And if we have to meet in the middle, we shouldn't let our fucking personal differences mess get up in the, the way business. Of our brilliance, because we're here because that's. I agree with that. Us. I agree with that, and I feel like as um as a whole, I think black people are the only ones who let personal vendettas like fully like keep them from they. They come up. 
I don't think it's just black people. I just think that we have been tricked into criticizing everything that we do. Mm -hmm. I think it's some other people who way more fucked up than us. Of course. But you know, and then it's I just think like, on the business aspect, I think I think this is it, right? I think it's a lot of elements that uh, you know unspoken on, or you know unseen. Uh huh. That. You know, there's other factors that are in play that got the black community in such a disarray. I agree. And, I agree. you know, hard, you know, niggas out here really trying. And I don't think that the people who are really putting forth the effort are the focus. They just focus on the failures to make you think that we failed you. Or they focus on the negatives to make you think that we ain't making no progress. Or sometimes they'll make you feel like you're not the winner that you are so that you won't know your worth. That, right. you know. Yeah, that's just how it is. Some saying. people can it's be like, intimidated that's by the you. disappointment. Yeah. A lot of niggas will do whatever it takes to win. Yeah. And then once you win and you realize that it was just a setup anyway. Then it don't feel like that. Right. Much of a, like a lot of motherfuckers feel like winning is the ultimate end. But you know, like on your birthday. Yeah. How motherfuckers just let you have it because it's your birthday. It's like your day. Yeah. Like, that's what the whole game is. It's once you once it's over, it's like, all right, it ain't your turn no more. Somebody else turn to win. Damn. That's a strong, that's, that's an interesting shit. way to look at that. Yeah. Damn. All right, pussy didn't inspire none of these. <laughs> all my thoughts was inspired. Fuck was you. Great. All right, pussy give you some funny shit to talk about. No, it don't. I don't possess all right, pussy. You I let, said it. I let it speak it. for itself. You it's, said it was all I right. Say, I said I asked you it's directly. It's all right. I let it speak for you itself. You have a personal relationship with it. I said, how is it? And you said, mm. I don't want to be. I said, it's I don't okay. want to brag. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, because I'm not a cocky person. No, this is the 85 South Show. Okay. This is a safe space. So I gotta be it's like, yeah, bragging. this motherfucker. This That's is how it. I be every episode, the best dick in America, <laughs> sitting right here. This guy. I don't give a fuck if you've had a bigger dick. You've never had a better one. <laughs> and I'm talking to all well, the ladies. At least you know in yours America. is medium. No, I like never said it. You I said, never said you that. You said somebody had a bigger dick. I didn't. Never, I said it wasn't better. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't never. I but said the best. <laughs> the best. Uh -uh. No, nah, you got a medium dick. No, I don't. But you said it's the best. I got the type of dick bitches <laughs> argue with their best friend about. <laughs> Why are they yeah. arguing with their best Cause. friend? She cussed that bitch out for trying to speak down on me. <laughs> or even asking about me. How your little boyfriend? First of all, bitch. Yeah, this the type of dick that break friendships oh. up. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, that is nothing to be proud of. This the type of, of dick she don't trust her mom and them around. She don't leave me in no room with oh. no women. Come oh. on, go with me. Yeah, all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you know. Yeah. I know the dick good. So then, when they you start go, dropping you ever key have... words when the dick good. See, you play too much. When you done, what she say? <laughs> I ain't never done. <laughs> when I'm done, she say it feel like it's still in there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's the never ending story? Yeah. Good dick. <laughs> I'm talking about. Oh my God. Get your plate fixed. Like, this how good my dick is. Okay. Say for instance, I got company, right? Right. And I'm doing my laundry. Uh-huh. When I bring them clothes out the dryer, guess who's not going to do it? Who? Me. <laughs> That's how good my she dick gonna is. She going to do it? Right. My dick's so good, she think I don't know how to do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> just, just her excuse for doing it for Doing me. all everything. Right. What else? What, what else? What else? What else? Because that ain't enough. Okay. That still seems medium to me. Okay. This dick right here is so good. When I ask my girl what she wants to eat, uh -huh. she already knows. <laughs> <laughs> she know exactly what she want. Because <laughs> good dick that made her decisive. She's good at making decisions now. No, I would like a hint of tuna. There you go. Slice of. Well, actually, she said she wanted that, you know, cob salad. Cobb? Extra blue, blue cheese. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's what she wants. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. What else? She's into fitness and things. Oh, oh, she's into fitness. My dick's so good. When a bitch say she gonna call me right back, mm -hmm. she called me right back. Uh-uh, first of all, wait a minute, wait yeah, a minute. This thing called right back. You said that your girl is fitness, right? Yeah. She's a fitness she person. Fitness. First of all, if you in a, if you getting good dick, you ain't fitness. That's normally when you gain good weight. Oh, oh you thought that's what good I was dick talking, weight. I was talking about. <laughs> That's when you get thick. I said fitness. <laughs> fitness dick up in her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk over me. <laughs> how you doing? Know I hate you. Don't I talk over you. me. I hate you. Yeah. You just switched that up. Yeah. Okay, I see you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Let me tell you this is good. Okay. I know it's good. How is that? Because anytime I introduce a chick I'm fucking with uh -huh. to another chick, uh -huh. she don't like the bitch. <laughs> She petty. She don't trust nothing. Nothing. It nothing. ain't that she don't trust me. She just know how hoes are. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's why we live on the 85 South. I ain't stopped smiling since I started talking about this. <laughs> and I get excited when I start talking about myself because I don't do it a lot. But since you asked, I'm just taking take the time for me. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? take this time. Just, you know, yeah. to let these motherfuckers know I am still out here. Okay. Yeah, you know, black men don't cheat. 2019, it's a movement. You've what? seen it all around the world. I've seen black men don't cheat. All around the world. I've seen that lie. All the way from South Africa. They Bur sending me videos. Colos, black men do not cheat. I know. <laughs> I know this. I didn't want the spirit up, man. It's Black History Month, too. And they've been trying to make the blacks history for all these months. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Tell me where you got that from. Because I'm not understanding how you came up with the whole black men don't cheat thing. They don't. You just we literally don't. told me that when you got seven, you can find everything you want in all seven. Look, how you do that? How you do that? If, if you deficient in some area uh -huh. and whoever you're dealing with finds a way to compensate for your deficiency, you can't hold them accountable for no shit like that. Like what? Like what you mean? Like, say Whatever the fuck, like, all right, pussy. I'm not about to say a nigga cheated on you because he went and got some better I ain't pussy. never got cheated on before. I'm just, <laughs> thank God. Thank God that you've been dealing with people who respected you enough to let you believe that. I don't think no nigga has ever done that for all right, pussy, though. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Okay. You got it. Uh, you got it. Have you ever respected you, all right, pussy? First of all, I'm not the one who labeled it. <laughs> Now, if you want to change your answer, that's completely fine. But I, you're not about to try to make it seem like I made a mistake. I'm just saying. I responded to what you said. Uh, and I, I actually double checked uh -huh. to make sure you wanted to go with all right. And you confirmed all right. I said, I'm not going to brag on it. Okay. That was after you said it was all right. You said, do you want to change that? I said, I don't want to brag on it. Okay. Okay. I'm not here to judge you. That's Good. not my thing. Good. It's not Good. my thing at all. Good. I've never, I've never been a judger. <laughs> you know. You've never been a judger? Ever. It's... But that's why this podcast right here is so popping right now. It is. You know why? It is. Because it's the 85 South Show. It is. This is a podcast for niggas who know that all right pussy is better than none at all. <laughs> hey, there's always that. Right. You could be getting it from a guy. You know the fuck I could <laughs> Right. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't be doing that. I don't okay, even know so why you're bringing that up. Don't Especially be, in a time where you know this is a very sensitive topic. Okay, it is. No, we don't do that. But you <laughs> you said, all right, pussy, as if, you know, something's wrong with that. Oh, nah, man, you know, it is something wrong with that. Just all right. Right. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, first of all, okay. you can't have good pussy if you're not a good owner. Wait, wait. You got to be a good owner. Owner of the pussy? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Personality has a, a lot to do with pussy. Mm. And sometimes the pussy and the personality don't match. What's so that? that's why you see, you see a lot of men put up with shit. And every dude that's got homeboys always have that moment where it's like, I don't see how you put up with this shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you don't know. Yeah. Yes, she emotional and she gonna cry every time we go out. Yep. But she a whole squirt on my nigga. <laughs> A, a real one, a uh, real one. Okay, okay. So I, I, you know what? I think I'm better than I right then. Yeah, she petty, cause she go blah, 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 blah. like she. <laughs> you ain't never been here with that. Blah, blah, blah. Every nigga wants some blah, blah, blah. Mm. what? You know what I do for some blah, blah, blah. What, what, what tonight? Exactly, what exactly is that? You ain't that. Oh, that's that's oh that, that's God. not pussy. That's that head. head when it that's sound head. like she opening up Christmas presents. That's head. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So pussy or head? Oh, both. They go together. If you had to choose, they a combo. If you had to choose, she, one. you don't go to go to McDonald's and just get the burger. You gotta get the burger, the fries, and the drink. Uh, All this. You gotta go choose together. one, Carlos. She. I want both of them. The head gonna make me want the pussy. <laughs> I, I, that's exactly what I'm getting at. I want them both, both of them. I'm a bofer. Bofer? I can't pick nothing. Titties, ass, both of them. 
pussy head, both of them. You or your friend, both of them. I got to have both of them. Oh I'm a terrible person when it comes to that. Don't give me options. You got to trick me. So you're just like, look, you get this. Uh, yeah, I need the pussy and the head. But if the cycle on, I got to have the head, 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 till the pussy come back online. Then online? I need both again. <laughs> then we got to start over. Oh. Yeah, because the pussy be online. <laughs> like the Wi-Fi went out. Oh my god. Yeah, shark week. That's funny. Shout out to all the ladies who understand that when your cycle come on, you supposed to give a nigga a lot of head and shit. Yeah. Damn, you going through it, huh? Uh-uh. You've been on, through there. You've been through there. Yeah. That's I feel like that's what's missing though. I feel like good head falling off. Oh, that's terrible. I just I feel like that. I hate to hear that. I feel that. like because I've been talking to my partners and shit in the streets, seeing what the streets doing. The reviews are down. <laughs> the reviews are down, bro. Ever since, really, ever since this Instagram popped off, uh -huh. a lot of the good head givers that went like underground. Uh -huh. I feel like it's a lot of good head givers with private pages and shit. Probably so. I, would think so. I don't know. They must still be on Snapchat or something. Yeah. It's it's falling funny. off though. I'm sure, and they probably doing it on Snapchat too. That's that's terrible. Yeah. That ain't that the worst shit? Yeah. Finding out that you fucking with a girl who got a premium Snapchat. <laughs> Not saying it's me, but I know it's somebody who, who watches, uh -huh. who's going through that. Sorry, you going through that, bro. I'm yeah. not. I'm. I'm not giving condolences. Why no not? More. Because man, people have to go through their own shit, you and they what? don't need sympathy. They need empathy. Okay. Yeah. So what you gonna say to him? Nothing, because this is crucial to your development. Mm. Any real nigga tell you you're not a full developed nigga until you went and went through it with a hoe. And I don't mean that no disrespectful right. way. I'm talking about like I know what you mean. a hoe. Like when a woman do you like you be doing chicks and then you find out she fucking three, four niggas. And yeah, you really like, oh my God, I was so stupid. Was you faithful though? It, yeah, that's the part. That's that's the real, that's the Ironic. knife to the heart mm -hmm. because you really are. Mm -hmm. Even if you ain't, you still ain't cheated much as this bitch cheated. She done cheated more than you. So, so you now you it. really feel cheated. Mm. Right. And that's the type of nigga that'll stay with a bitch after he find out she cheating because it ain't that he just like a weak nigga. He just want to get some payback or Is something. He might be petty. Oh, that's so, so you ever cheat on a nigga and he stay with you? Just No, that nigga probably trying to fuck your mama or something. <laughs> ain't that real? Uh, I ain't never cheated, though. I ain't never had that problem. You, never. You ain't never did shit. I ain't cheat, never though. cheated. I've never cheated before. Ever. Never. Ever. You ain't never, like, broke up with a nigga and he wasn't your nigga, but you were still fucking with him. Hell no. You had, like, a new nigga. No. So you fuck with every nigga one at a time. Yeah, I, I do. I can't trust you. Oh, my God. I can't. Wait, you I, lying. Because you're not human. Okay, I swear on my life. You ain't when never I'm had two niggas in your life together. No. When I, when I was done, when I was done, I was done. Okay. I move on. All right. And it take me a minute to move on too I when I love him. Okay. You think I'm lying. I can't believe that cause I seen the type of niggas you fuck with. What is that supposed to I be? I seen them. <laughs> I seen that you shit. You see me talk, wait. I you seen see me shit. have one boyfriend, Carlos. No, that's enough. Just one. I don't need to see no more. You like that kind of nigga. Oh. Now in my mind, every nigga you didn't fuck with would fit that profile. No, it might have been no, the same That's nigga. the first, that's the first saying, that I've I'm ever. Just, I, I'm just saying. All the niggas you fucked with prior to the, they looking at you like, I knew this, I knew that shit. <laughs> I knew she wasn't shit, though. First of all, that was the uh, first white man I ever talked to. Just see, I didn't even say that. You see how she guilty? But see? you know, that's no, that's, South show. that's the only boyfriend you, you know. You start bringing them around real niggas, they start telling you shit you ain't even asking. <laughs> first of all, that's the first boyfriend, the only boyfriend you've ever seen me have. You don't know what I seen. What else you seen? Nothing. Okay. I ain't been to East St. Louis. I'm really just fucking with you. I don't care what you do with your life. Oh. I'm living my best life. Oh. I ain't going back and forth with no nigga. <laughs> Not a lamb. It ain't a nigga I go back and forth with. No. I just be like, you got it, my nigga. <laughs> Talk your shit, bro. <laughs> nigga don't know what to do when you on his side in the heart. Man, fuck this shit. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say it, but you said it. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about nothing no mm -mm. more. Mm -mm. Not that I don't give a fuck. I just, I have a different way of giving a fuck. I'm at the point in my life where I'm just looking at everything like old people on the porch. I don't even out there no more. I don't give a fuck what happened. I just be like, bless they heart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I can't change this shit. <laughs> fuck that. 
we just gonna smoke weed and laugh at it. Everything. It, what? Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, you gotta laugh though. That's why I was, I was laughing so hard about the relationship shit, bro. It was like, I'm to the point now, if I fuck with you, I ain't even gonna leave the next bitch that cheat on me. I'm just gonna stay because I'm petty. <laughs> What if she what if she cheating on you with the nigga she really like? Like she didn't met the nigga. You like, no, I ain't ready to give up on you. <laughs> so wait, you gonna keep nigga her? just stay out of spite. No, no, mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Not gonna let you go that easy. So wait, are you staying to get her back? Or are you I'm staying just to staying to be an asshole, just to be petty. Just so you can't be all the way happy. Oh my god, you know, that's terrible. That's one thing, you know what, I think that's one of my fears, yo. That's one of my fears, that a, a, that a man want to keep me around, but he really wants something else. That you, you fear that? Yeah, that's why I'm crazy. You, you crazy. I'm crazy. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the nigga already wants something else. He's just fucking with you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Until something comes along. Just look at all the motherfuckers you done fucked with. Ain't nobody else coming back. <laughs> They gone. They that's gone, not, baby. First of all, that's not true. They gone. Them niggas still call me. They do. They just want to make they sure you still, still alive. Them niggas would you know still fuck, wipe me. You know how fucked up it's you call your ex and she ain't on earth no more? Who, niggas who? just trying to make sure your number's still the same. Shut I'm a nigga. I'm to, Wait, so you just want to call somebody? You called your ex just to see if J-O-N- your number's still the same? Don't you have to check on your ex once or twice a year to make sure the bitch ain't got fat or fell off or pregnant? That's oh, all. For what? Craig, don't you check on all your old bitches from time to time? Why? Ch- can't ask Chad. He's a, he a different type of nigga. He don't eat. Nothing. I like that, Chad. Thank you. Keep it No, up. he got a woman. He like her. He ain't fucking with you. That's Andy good. You got, all right, no, I know. Uh, <laughs> you got to start looking out for our homeboy. Don't fuck with it, Chad. The pussy's just all right. I actually, I actually root for men who are faithful in their relationships. You should love we'll root for everybody in this room. You ain't no motherfucking faithful nigga in I'm the relationship. I'm the nigga who put the shit in the atmosphere. You going to come on You put a lie in the atmosphere. You put a fucking lie in the If it wasn't for me, atmosphere. niggas like Chad, it wouldn't be possible. Who gonna, who gonna be their champion? I said, Black men don't cheat. That's right. I ain't doing this shit for nothing. <laughs> That's why I'm here. You're not about to keep trying to talk down on me. Uh-uh. You know that ain't right. That's real. You even said Chad is a different type of nigga. So oh. for you to know that, you know you ain't shit. You ever heard of an extremist? <laughs> Chad, the type of he give him and his lady take showers together because he just Aww. wanna be around her. That you much. go, Chad. I'm, I'm rude for you. You so gullible. Oh. I bet you it's true though. If so he's faithful. Fucking gullible. If he's a different How type of How the fuck would I know that? Cause I've dealt with that. I've had that once. Whatever. <laughs> you just bipolar. But I was crazy. So ain't no way you go. You don't get I'll, to be I'll crazy in the relationship. I'm crazy. Have so. all right, pussy, <laughs> and then be irrational. <laughs> Like, come on, man. You blowing all, me. First of all, you already know what they got to say about a woman who's crazy. Ain't nothing all right about a pussy. Uh, Whatever, a woman man. that's crazy. Whatever. A period, point blank. That's, that's, that's the what, fucked up part. Just like you said, you know how Some niggas friends, out here watching this right now and I've saying, had, your pussy I, ain't, ain't good enough for you to be acting like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a quote for your You ass. know what? Just like you said. I have dated someone who literally, they friends be like, bruh, you don't need to put up with that shit, bruh. Just leave. As but soon like, as he broke up with me, you, they hit me up. Not like, nigga, you, older, you uh, Like, can you look back and admit that you was on bullshit? On which one? On a, which one? A lot of the bullshit. I, I can admit like, that I've done some shit that wasn't right. That wasn't right? Yeah. That's I, part it, of growing up. Yeah, it is. Just having to admit it. What's some of the pettiest shit you've ever done? <sighs> Damn. Okay. So one of the pettiest things. Like don't incriminate yourself or nothing, but like, <laughs> like don't do no illegal shit because no, I don't no. want to be your downfall. Yeah, be like, <laughs> you remember that time that house caught on fire? Yeah, yeah don't that say was no me. Shit no, like no, that. no, no, I ain't never did no shit like that. But pettiest shit I've done one time, um, I went through a guy, my boyfriend at the time's phone. And right. he lied to me about talking to another woman. But if he had told you the truth, would it he have been my, any different? I just he I wouldn't have never even been in that situation. Why was it his phone? Cause I feel like he was lying to me, and but I I was him. right. But at least he had enough respect to, it, to like lie. That's what we call lies. Okay, respect. Go ahead. Okay, good. Anyway, so he lied to you. He okay, to you, and let me even switch this. You're let me let me make sure I get this right. We wasn't together. We weren't. We weren't. We weren't together. Okay, but. He gave me the impression that he wanted to work on something and that he was no longer talking to other women. 
Oh, he so, was trying to fuck you, bro. That's exact. Okay, so <laughs> would a nigga do that for just all right, pussy? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? He had to take the rub off to see if it was good. First of all, he had to do that to do that at, at all. Yeah. He ain't have to do that or, at all. You was it, gonna let him fuck raw anyway? Well, no, no, because oh. first of all, we we were no longer in a relationship, and I didn't know what he had going on. He was trying to fuck. No, I'm saying outside of More. what he had else going on. I'm not, uh, I don't trust that shit. I'm not doing that. Okay. Raw, no. It's it's for faithful niggas. Okay. And you ain't faithful. Stop saying that. Anyway. I'll fuck you with a condom on Basically, that's <laughs> what you're saying till we get the trust up. No, then. no, no. It's All just, right. no, you got to get checked. You got to get checked. You got to get checked. That, I of course. I mean, that's that's a given. It's a two thing. You, you both got to do that. the white man all in your pussy, you might have lice or anything. Oh, my gosh. Dandruff. Shut the fuck up. No. no, that pussy ain't the same. Probably got dog hair all over it. First of all, <laughs> white people are more cat people. Anyway, that's that's not the point. <coughs> you ever roll with your white friend? Like, bro, you got to clean this Cherokee out. Oh, my God. This whole goddamn up. Labrador dog uh, pile of hair back here, my name. Okay. Anyway, continue. let me continue. So what's the shit you did? So when he was gone, he had went to go get a haircut. And while he was gone, I went through that phone, the other phone. He, he left had, the phone? It was an um, iPad type of thing. And, you know, iPhone, everything oh, connects to each other. Yes. Yeah. So what you see? Bitches? He was texting bitches, yeah. sexting and everything else. Yeah, I'm like, sending news and shit. No, nah, he ain't seen no news. She ain't seen no the news. Was, oh. No, I ain't seen no news. But they was definitely talking like they didn't had sex. Oh. And this nigga didn't lie. But what then? What? So you got mad? So I called him. All the bitches? No, not the bitches. Oh. I called him. Oh. Cause he was gone, and I was like, "Bitch, you better bring your motherfucking ass there before the house is on fire before you get here." And so. He rushed home. Oh, he was ride. there so quick. <laughs> he was there so fucking quick. It was hilarious. I've never seen him move that fast. Nigga got there in 2.5 seconds. I just I just tore stuff up and then, you know, because I'm a thrower. So I and threw all the shit in. y'all kept fucking around for how long? Uh, after that, it was probably like two, about a month, and then I was done. I was done after that. Matter of fact, it wasn't even a month because when we got into a real, because that was the thing that sparked the real big fight. You know those real big fights where you be like, yeah, this shit's bad. I got to go. Mm -hmm. That sparked the real big fight. That, right. Yeah, I was done. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think the pettiest thing I've done is like probably go through his stuff and then threaten to fuck up everything and, and tear his house up right. and go. So after you do all that, then uh -huh. what's supposed to happen? I, I, I just go on. home and I cry and cry. Why? Because I'm miserable. Done. I thought you was happy to be done fucking with a nigga that was cheating on you. It still hurts because you why? love a person. You still love a person, even if they do you bad. You love them. I must be built differently. Really? So the moment somebody do you bad, you just your feelings are gone? How? <laughs> How does that work? Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> that is how that works. I don't see how you do that. Like, I wish I could so cut it off. So, let me get this straight. Okay. You fucking with somebody. Mm -hmm. They do you wrong. Mm -hmm. You get mad and make a scene. Yep. Then go home and cry? Yep. Ain't that the equivalent to he gonna cry in the car? <laughs> <laughs> That's some pussy ass shit. Yes, I'm crying. That's I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna cry and cry and cry until it don't hurt again and then when it comes and hurts again then i'm gonna cry again i never give that much of a fuck ever again in life so you have given that much of a fuck before. oh probably but i'll never let nobody take me there no more why like, is oh, that oh for real that's why what you're that? doing see that's what right there bless you that's that pride God shit. bless you i don't have no pride that's pride. i'm just not about to act a fucking fool like what i need to get all in my feelings for and ask you all these repetitive ass goofy ass questions that i know the answer to you lied to me you fucking them? You cheating? Yes! <laughs> All of that! Everything you can possibly imagine has already happened. Mm -mm. He didn't, he got the pussy faster than you. She sucked this dick that day. In the car. In That's front so of the sad. house. You know what's really bad? Real disrespectful this? shit. That's you done so took bad. her out, you a boyfriend. You done took her on eight dates, waited four months to fuck with a condom on. <laughs> Nigga pulled that at the club, got some head in the parking lot. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> She liked it. Oh my God. I'm supposed to go home and cry? The two consenting adults made some decisions together. 
I just need to get the fuck away from over there. That's the best thing for me to do. I agree with that part. <laughs> that shit's sad. You know but how I that fuck with people. This nigga that done caught that bitch cheating to kill everybody. Shoot the dog. Everybody. Not the fucking dog. Fuck you shoot the dog for? Not the dog. Fuck that dog. <laughs> he watched it happen. He knew the bitch was cheating. <laughs> All that shit. That's exactly how it's I feel, It's a cold too. world. I'll air this bitch out. That's how I feel. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That's how, that's the feeling. It's raw out here, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's bad. It's really bad. You gotta be careful. But you know what? At the end of the day. The day is over with. <laughs> it is. Just a whole 24 hours pass. Whole goddamn day in the book. <laughs> Everybody say it. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Damn, you sound, you sound cold now. You, you sound like you have no heart. No, it ain't for not. love. No, it's You don't believe that. in love no more? I don't believe in shit no more. <laughs> well, why? Because love is fake. It depends on who it's coming who, from. Who told you what love is? A whole bunch of other motherfuckers. You ain't make your own definition. Well, it's not perfect. Because I want to know who set the rules to be like, okay, guys, here are the rules. What's that bitch's name that hurt your heart so I can beat her ass? All love. <laughs> What's her name? What's the one? What's the main one? No, shit, it ain't no one. Yes, it is. It's I, one look, that turns your heart cold. Man. Who she is. I'm finna fuck her. I don't know the bitch. I just know that one night it was raining, <laughs> and my homeboy called me and told me this bitch was putting him out. Me and my homeboy shoot down there. Now, keep in mind, we three grown men. Mm-hmm. We trying to get the shit before she throw it outside. Mm-hmm. This one lady is moving shit three times as fast as three humans. That's how mad she is. <laughs> you motherfucking right. I get that. Man, we after about three trips, we just stopped and just started catching shit that she was throwing it outside, bro. I ain't never seen a nigga get put out this fast. <laughs> is that what changed the whole But this is the thing. She put him out for catching her fucking off. I was like, what, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah that's, he called, that's... he Just like you said. He went through her phone and found out she was with a nigga. She broke up with him. Oh, she didn't want to be with him no more. Hey, man. She didn't want to be First with him First of no all, more. she didn't. I kind of, I could kind of see the logic though. Wait, what? <laughs> what? That's some petty shit. But Wait, I'm gonna throw you out for nah, finding ain't me that out. Ain't, nah, it ain't that I'm gonna break up with you for goddamn finding out. But I am gonna break up with you for going through my goddamn phone. <laughs> the fuck you wrong? The you, nerve of you. What gives you the I'm right the, to lie to me? What? Who the fuck is you? Why, why you gotta lie? Who is you? Why you don't give me the chance to make the choice? You don't want to hear the truth. I lie to you all day. Oh my God. I, I would hate That's it. A, see, you like selective lies. You no. want to hear the lies that benefit you. No. You don't want to hear the lies. You don't want to hear the shit. I want to hear the benefit. truth. The truth is a goddamn lie. That's, how, that's the fucked up part. <laughs> the truth is a goddamn lie. Why you say the that? The truth is only what the fuck you believe. No, the, yes, truth, the truth can be what happened no. and what did not happen. Man, the shit ain't true until you believe it. You can believe all type of shit. It's true to you if you believe Wait it. Wait a minute. That's so fucking not true. I don't Man. know what to do. That, that, you what are the fuck makes hubby- something true? You are a fucking You got to believe liar. it. You, you no, got to accept it. You got to be terrible. So here it is. I ain't just tap you. No, you didn't. But the truth is, you did hit me. <laughs> You didn't tap me. You hit me. That's I, the truth. Oh my the God! Truth, that, that's, whether you tap me or hit me, the truth is you touched I me. I didn't touch you at all. Bullshit. Now, is that a lie or is that not a it's lie? The truth to you because you believe it. That's the fucking point that I'm trying to make. No, Bullshit. but it's still a lie. Do you believe you didn't hit me? Just because you don't believe me. No, no, no. It. Do you believe that you didn't hit me? No, I know I did. You I'm just telling you, you I did it because I don't want you. I don't want to reap the. So you believe that? What? Like, I know I hit you, but I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to admit that I hit you, so then you can tell somebody, I'm just yeah, asking. I'm so suing. If I ask you, if you be- as long as you believe it, it's true. That's not true. And you know what? That's a sign of a, of a motherfucking habitual liar right it's not there. a sign of a habitual liar. <laughs> yes, it no, it's not. How it, here it is. You can't define somebody else's truth. That, yeah. That's the why we're having so many outrages in social society right now. <coughs> There's some people out there who really convince themselves that they are something else and they want you to be a part of it. Uh-uh. See, yes, it is. A fact is a fact. Okay. A non-fact is a non-fucking fact. You ever watch the biography on like A&E or some shit? I have. The person who they interview, what they say, soon as on the preview, I'm here to tell 
my truth. That that's don't mean I'm, this is the universal truth. Uh-uh, this uh-uh. is the truth. Uh-uh. For that's why me. I don't like that fucking saying. To this day, okay. I fucking hate that saying. Because first of all, my truth can be dis- you can determine that I'm just saying it how I feel. No. Man, you if are a nigga slap my the ass. Same shit I just told you. I'm just saying the shit is just not real. Because I'm high. I'm smoking, but you have. Because you arguing the same shit that I'm telling you. <laughs> Do you not hear yourself? I, no, because you, you say no. You, I am literally saying the opposite, but I'm saying it similar to. Do you believe it? <laughs> no. Okay. You don't believe it. Well, shut the fuck it. up. Why are you trying to tell me some shit you well, don't believe? Wait. I, I, no, your ass is, your ass is half ass here. I'm saying if something is a fact. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine dating you. you I would have, have a heart attack. You have. I, you you, see I, you would you drive topic. me insane. See how you off topic. Cause you would no, cause your you ass. You just want to argue. <laughs> you don't even have shit to say. <laughs> what the? You saw no, that? No, cause your ass. You went from. Your it's ass. It's true. Do you believe it to date me? Which it, one is? Wait, it? no, cause your ass can switch shit up. I didn't switch. That's why we have people around. <laughs> you can that's switch why it we up. Have a camera. You I didn't do say, shit. You talk about some, That's why people say it's your truth. There is a such thing as an actual fact. <laughs> And something that's actually opinionated, and then there's something that's true as far as it's not true at all. Okay, but listen, people argue facts all the time. Mm-hmm. Some it's it's mother it's fucking half of the people on earth believe this motherfucker is flat, and the other half is like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> I didn't make that a fact for them. But there are people who will say, you don't believe the earth is flat. Let me give you the facts and show you the truth. Like, nigga, it might be your truth if you believe it. But I'm the type of motherfucker who will take both of them and, and meet in the middle. I think the fucking earth is flat at the top and round on the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> it's not for me to decide. Some it shit. could be both. Some it could be shit. round in some places uh, and flat on some side. It could I, be a diamond. I, I it would, could be shaped like a fucking egg. I, I don't know. I would want to strangle you. I would I would want to strangle you on a regular basis, Carlos. No, because that's my line. I'll be strangling you on a regular <laughs> basis. How can you not love me? Oh my God, you have, I, I, like literally, I would be insane because you would literally make me insane. Man, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like that right Smoke there. This, That's why your ass, that right there. That's why I'm single. I ain't shit. Are you single? You're not really single. You, yeah, you got about four or five of them. I'm just a handsome, intelligent motherfucker on my way to some wealth. Okay. You know. Th- that sounds amazing. And you know, I just can't, you can't talk to me like a nigga that make 23,000 a year. No disrespect to him, but it's just me and him have two different sets of problems. Oh. And what kind of problems do you have? <laughs> His problem is he listens to that shit. Mine is I refuse to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it ain't a lot of niggas like me. Mm. And I think they made it like that for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Cause God knows. Yeah, I think it is a lot of niggas like me, but they probably in jail for being so outspoken and fighting back. And knowing that there's a better way. There's people like that, like Nelson Mandela. He made a difference. You should make a positive difference like that. Shit, he did. I don't know if I could do 27 years, though. (laughs) (laughs) The cause? The cause? Fuck the cause. (laughs) Fuck the cause, bro. Fuck the cause. Yeah, it was 27 years. If that's what it takes for me to be big and great, I'm not doing that. God got to give me something else. <laughs> not going to jail, bro. I'm glad you can tell God what he needs to do. No, I'm just saying, I can't fucking do that. Mm. Because yeah. that's not, I'm not. That's a lot for anybody. I'm not living like that. Mm. And the way that my life is set up, I couldn't go back to anything less than the comfort zone that I'm used to at this point in my life. What's your comfort zone? It's fucking so amazing. I do what the fuck I want to. And you comfortable doing it? When the fuck I want to. But the way that I do it now, mm-hmm. as opposed to just when I wanted to do it, mm-hmm. I have the means to make that shit so dope to my liking. Okay. And that's why I can refuse to go back. Because I can't, ha- that's why I'm single too. Because I can't let somebody interject into my personal happiness. But so I don't you, feel like nobody you don't feel can like bring you have- to it. Uh- you, you can't bring nothing to me. You can't. What you phone? What? What? You can't bring shit. Sounds 
sad. No, it's not sad. It's just it's cold. No, it sounds sad for any woman that's going to try to leave take your heart. No, she leave my fucking heart alone. I don't need you fucking with my heart. That's, I don't want all that pussy ass shit. That, that is the, that's the pride I'm talking about. We've been looking for that shit this whole time. That, it's been there the entire time. Man, don't try to come into my life doing a bunch of shit you've seen on the weekend. Don't be judging women who be date real. men. Don't be judging be black women, good black women, who date men of another race because uh, wow. they date a man that first don't have all, that mindset. First of all, good black women don't date men of other races. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. <laughs> First of all, no, I'm not don't. going to be I'm not going to be mentally, emotionally, and, and just physically abused. Yes, you are. Due to <laughs> You're gonna be all of that, especially when it comes to that. Oh hell no. No, no. It's not. no. If anybody should be uplifting Shut and up. be great and awesome to their black women, it's black men. Shut up. You would don't try to come over here criticizing us because <laughs> the nigga took you skiing one time. Nobody give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell us we ain't great. I didn't say you wasn't great. I Black said pride is what keeps phenomenal. you, is what keeps certain things Pride great. is what keeps us alive. Without no pride, we have nothing. You be alive, but dead inside. You know how long it took for us to establish a li- black pride? That's uh, what the whole fucking 60s was about. Say it loud. Not about that. I'm black and I'm proud. Not Somebody about had to put it on wax. We need another one of those. We need one of them every year. Mm. We ain't had one since the pimple butterfly came out. But you know, don't get me on my soapbox. That's, Ken, that's, that's Kendrick Lamar. Don't get me on my soapbox. Okay. You know. Okay. See? That's all I'm about is uplifting the, the, the greatness in every black man. And that's good. But you also have but to But you're know. not about to criticize us. We are a work in progress. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to get correction. Right you're going to get no, correction so you can need, be that's great. That's what's wrong. Y'all, we have too you're many good, but you want to be great. Us. Uh-uh. Leave us alone. Uh-uh. We getting our shit together. Uh-uh. It's uh-uh. coming. I'm telling you, the movement has already started. All you, all you gotta do is just ask it ain't no love. All, it ain't no all you gotta do. And be good to your woman. Any That's plan all that starts do. off with all you gotta do is a fucked up plan. Everybody knows that. All you gotta do is shut the fuck up. It ain't no all you gotta do. How, how is gonna be all you gotta do if That's, it's never been done before? That's why people are visionaries. They create it. Okay. So you really just wanna just come over and show and criticize. I'm not criticizing black men. I love black men. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You let us down. No, I didn't. You did. You know what I didn't do? Mm-hmm. I didn't stick around. Long for... enough to see the progress. And then you've been over no. there in the other community. First of and all. And you don't know what the fuck we've been doing while you've been gone. That's the point that I'm making. <laughs> don't say that. Like... Well, you might have been the last <laughs> one to leave. We might have been standing there and watching you <laughs> leave and be like, damn, fellas, now is the time. <laughs> oh, we lost oh. one too many. Oh, really? They got, they got Serena. Rihanna, Holly Berry, they stole all of them. Now we, we've been over here like, bro, this the move. We get, this what we doing. You don't see us drinking all this good water and shit. Carlos. Smoking this organic weed. You know, you know that, you seen that meme where it says, God has set your hairline back every time you no, cheated on a woman? No, Are, are you that bald? That don't have nothing to do with God. You got hair? Me being bald has something to do with my father <laughs> and my grandfather. Nah, nah, nah. And, che- and That's lying payback. To, lying to, well, if that was the case. That's payback. If that was the case, you being women wouldn't cheating? even find bald men attractive. I get more pussy they be now fine. than ever. They be, I mean, they be the, throwing pussy at the bald head. Oh my God. They be fine. It? Can I touch it? That's so sad. Sad. I That's just wear my hat to get these other niggas a chance. <laughs> they just be throwing pussy at me. You know what? That's why I can't understand all these fucking, all these weirdos out here pissing the women off. Which be a one? better nigga. Wait, weird niggas like weird? Weird niggas out here just jumping on social media just to say anything to get a reaction. They don't feel like that, but they just run out of ways to get her attention. So they gotta criticize or say some fuck shit, because that's the shit people respond to, negativity. Interesting. Yeah, you can't blow up without no haters. How you gonna go viral without the haters? You can't. You get more clicks off people saying that this shit ain't good than people who actually like it. That's true. Yeah. That's for the most part, yep. I'm telling you, man. Can't have no love without no hate. They just like light and dark. You gotta have one to appreciate the other. Ain't that ironic? That's yeah. irony for But me. see, hate is such a strong emotion. But love is an even stronger one. But yep. you feel the hate. You can feel the hate. You ain't never walked in no spot and feel the love. Yep. Until you get around your family, people you know love, you like going home for the holidays. Yep, yep. You can feel that love. 
But when that one motherfucker walk in, you like the hate fill the room up fast because everybody know, oh. That's true. That go to hater. That's true. Yeah. I've seen that. But some people, like, it's just a, like the way that people react to it is different. Some people just have, they feel like they have to stomp it out or they can defeat it. It ain't no, you can't defeat that shit. We hate it. Some people be haters because they ain't never been loved before. Yeah, you gotta spread love so the people who ain't never had none know what it feel like. Oh, shit got quiet. <laughs> this that was is real. the 85 South Show. That's real. Podcast for niggas who say some real shit, then shit get quiet. <laughs> I can't, like, I had to soak that in. You, like, need, you need to. Yeah, I had to soak that in. You, clearly, you've been led wrong. Oh, I don't my. Know who, who, your, who your OGs and shit? My OGs. Who the niggas who put you up on game? Um, in what? In life. My mama. Your mama put you up on game? Yeah. what she say? <sighs> so much shit. Like, if I started right now, we'd be here for hours. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you say when you can't think of shit. I mean, that's... <laughs> Nigga, it's so much shit. Okay. If I start telling you, like my mother, like we'll never leave. My mother tell me, never tell your age, because then people feel like they know how to treat you. Exactly. That's just life game. You or be real. you see, real. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or she'll tell me some shit, like, and it be, it be real. But sometimes you have to experience certain things so you understand why it is what it is. Oh shit! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To my other guests. Pause, pause. 85. 85. 85. 85.